Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Issue of Skin. It's good to see you again. Thank you very much for coming back. We're here playing more Marvel Heroes Omega. I've actually been playing through the uh, with Nightcrawler. I've already played the new events for Spider-Man Homecoming, and I've been playing around with the benefits we've been getting from the VIP. I'm playing it through with the character Nightcrawler, but um, that stuff's kind of like I want to I want to formulate a better opinion on that by running through the events a couple of times and each of the different difficulties and getting my character up to sixty. But until then, I thought I would do something else. With the just because of the announcement and with the adding on of the Spider Man Homecoming details, I kind of want to fill out the last of the things I'm missing out from the costume list. So we're gonna do something interesting. Yep, we're doing it again. This hurts every time. I don't know why, it just feels in the body. It's, it's, it gets easier because it's actually being provided by Gazillion to try these out. But I, I, don't, I just don't like the feeling of buying random boxes. So let's go for 25. Five. No. 10. 15. 20. 25. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm not feeling scared here. I'm not feeling scared. I want to actually... I'm going to, I'm going to go out of this. Because I, I want to be in a location where it doesn't feel as scary to actually uh, <laughs> to do that without actually without fear of what I did the last time. Where people were able to talk while I was doing it. And it ended up um, being unbelievably disturbing. Nobody could actually really hear what I was saying over the top of them. So we go to a different headquarters, we'll go to the shield training room and give this a try. <laughs> okay. So, hopefully it'll actually be reasonably quiet. The audio won't be too loud whenever I'm actually playing this. But we're going to take a look here and do the crits. How much space do I have? 60, 70, 80. Yeah, I might just not have enough. It's I've just not as if I could put I this item between anyway, so. dimensions. Yeah, guys, we're going to do 25 of these Spider-Man crates. I'm concerned that I might not actually have uh, that much stuff to actually get left out of it. So there's going to be definitely duplicates in this. I've got a feeling. Uh, that, that, that's, what I, that's what I think is going to be the case. So I'm concerned that... What the hell? Where is she? Oh, yeah, that's the reason why I'm looking at the wrong bloody thing. Um, let's just box a couple of these. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, I'm worried that I'm actually I've not got enough stuff to really make it worth my while to um, open that many, but at least then we'll see what the actual retrieval rate is. Like we'll see what the actual like drop rate is for, uh, for costumes in general because I think they've actually updated. I've been told that the updated drop rates are only applicable to the PlayStation because the Xbox ha might have only updated now with this update that's gone in so i'm glad to actually like be doing the crates whenever everybody's kind of on the same page if you know what i mean because that was the biggest problem i had with actually like trying to communicate like one this was whenever it was 1.03 this is whenever it was 1.06 1.08 so at least now both consoles are on the same level and we can find out what kind of drop rates are inside the spider-man uh homecoming loot crates so here comes number one Okay, so 10 Marvelous Essence in the first one. Not too bad. Uh, 14. Uh, Stark Tech Research Credits? Okay, so... This is actually for, yeah, research projects. So these are actually, uh, same as, like, artifacts. So it's actually more equipment to actually have. So we just use these points to buy these things. Uh, mechanical components. Shield Supply Boost. And a Spider-Man Backpack. I forgot about the Spider-Man goddamn backpack. I forgot there was a whole stack of these. At least this one's actually in the 100,000 credits one. But fuck. Okay, so uh, new credits in there, new Stark Tech research. I'm wondering, I, I need to go and check out to see what this kind of stuff you can actually buy with this. But with five of them there, that's not a bad sign. I'm just hoping that's probably about, Stark Tech kind of ranks in that same way as like legendary marks maybe, rather than actually being closer to the relics because relics even a hundred of them to actually be anyway valuable in any way, shape or form. So next one. Four Marvelous Essence. Buy research credits. So if, if there's going to be research credits on every crate now, is that, is that kind of one of the new things that are actually a regular drop? Well, hopefully we'll see that as we go through here. Spider-Man backpack, uh, of course, again, another 5,000 credits. 
That's a garbage one. Uh, Astral Essence, Cosmic Fragment, and a Matrix of Unbinding. Yay! First Matrix of Unbinding of the stack, man. It's always nice to see those showing up, even though I hate having them. I don't really need them, but I'm getting to that point now whenever I'm having to swap around Cosmic Gear from people. Let's see. Four Marvel's Essence. Star Tech Research. Minor Experience Boost. Spider Man Backpack with 10,000 credits. <laughs> Awful. Uh, Matrix of Unbinding. Yeah, uh, yeah. And a chest of 50 Marvel's Essence. So obviously, this was one of the chest. This was actually a costume crate. Um, hopefully, it's all going to be Spider Gwen, Spider Gwens, and Spider Gwens. Every single one of these was a Spider Gwen. Although, the only problem is that uh, crates, uh, the, the 50 Marvel's Essence, is for anything that's over 75 uh, Marvel's Essence to buy. So, 100 or 140, no matter what, that's always going to give you 50. So, maybe. Like, maybe they'll actually give us an extra bonus crate if they actually happens to be one of the 140 Marvel's Essence ones, so it doesn't feel quite as bad. Four Marvel's Essence, five Star Tech Research, Spider-Man backpack of 5,000, garbage, unsealed molecules, it looks like a fidget spinner, now that one you notice it whenever I look at these things. A Relic of the Gibrahim. Nice, I actually like getting relics, that's not too bad, that's actually going to take us up to another stack for another relic. And experience boost, the main things, the most important things. Things I need to make it easier for me to level up characters. I like them. I like it a lot. I think I've actually just used the last of mines to start a stack for Nightcrawler anyway, so this will be beneficial. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, five Star Tech Research Credits, Cosmic Fragment, a Combination Boost, Happy Days, and more Relics of the Game. Oh, Jesus, 50 Relics of the Gibraham? All right, there you go. So we're halfway to the se second stack of those on top, so we'll definitely be getting a Relic of the Gibraham at some point, I imagine. A full, like, original relic, not the hundred of them titled, stuck together. So, not too bad. Um, literally, we've had one costume out of five, so that's not a great drop rate. So, one out of five chances for a costume. Fifty legendary marks, four marvelous essence, five star tech research points, minor experience boost, a Spider-Man backpack, for only 10,000 credits, boo. And a large character experience token for Ant-Man. That's grand. I have like I'm really had no interest in playing Man Man, so experience tokens will make my um the start off a little bit easier at least. But I need to start going through and dropping these onto characters because they're going to start filling up because they're all individualized. They're going to start filling up my pockets, especially my storage pockets. Even the extra ten that you get from me in a VIP point. Four marvelous essence, five Star Tech research points, mechanical components, a Spider Man logo flourish, a shield supply boost, and a cosmic fragment. That was the, this is the worst crate so far. Uh, these are not, these are not dropping very well. Not, I'm not, I'm not excitedly pleased by what we're getting here. But, um, obviously I've got the majority of the interest. I got the stuff that I was really concerned about. I wanted the Stark uh, armor. I really wanted the Spider Gwen. And I've already got those. So my first stack of these was fine. So I'm not going to be disappointed. But I wish to kind of push the evil around It's not, not looking well. Uh, 10 Legendary Marks, 50 Marvelous Essence, 4 Marvelous Essence, that's not too bad, 54 in a single box, 5 Stark Tech, and uh, that's it, I think these Stark Tech are standard things that are in these boxes now, Minor Experience Boost, and a Spider-Man Backpack, okay, so we're moving on to the next one, that's, again, that wasn't a really great, that's actually really bad, crit. I think the last 3 of them have been just awful, 50 Legendary Marks, 4 Marvelous Essence, 5 Stark Tech, was it Dimensional Prism Flourish? I don't... Is that one of the spe is the dimensional prism flourish actually for this or is it just another one's around? Because I know the vulture wings obviously are one for this particular pack, and cosmic fragment. Again, not not an awesome box, not an awesome box, folks. This is getting, uh, un unsettling. I was hoping to see at least one of the things so far. Whenever we're, what ten into the boxes, twenty five arms lessons, four marvelous essence, five Stark tech research, lightweight armor plate. Relic of Atlantis by 10, and another chest for 50 Marvelous Essence. Obviously, we found another chest that actually has another costume that I already have in it. For, uh... Again, at least that's two That's two costumes for 10 boxes. Yeah, so that's one ab one every five. One in five if you're going to spend a thousand points. Yeah. Like if you're going to hold that ratio, essentially it's worked out that way so far. 50 Legendary Marks, 4 Marvelous Essence, 5 Stark Tech Research Credits, Energized Particles, a Spider-Man Backpack for 10,000 Credits, Garbage, and 10 Fidget Spinners. Great, more Fidget Spinners, I like it. 
Uh, nah, that's a that's not a great box. Although, admittedly, I'm building up my Stark Tech research points. Right. The, these are not. Four Marvel Assassins, five Stark Tech research, Gamora Flourish, an experience boost, at least one. I think it's one of those. Like normally, I would like to see them in a stack. Cosmic Fragments by ten. A random hero ultimate gift, so this is actually a ultimate upgrade token, but randomly. So I'll have to open this afterwards to find out if it is of any value, but I mean, I have to get characters up to their 60s for so read up of actually like value. 40 Marvelous Irisons, 5 Stark Tech Research Credits, Energized Particles, Hollow Stark Flourish. I actually like the Hollow Stark Flourish, it looks nice. Experience Boost by 2, yes, this is what we need. And of course a Shield Supply Boost, because we have plenty of those from all of the boxes we've done previously. I don't really do a stack of the shield uh, supply boxes because I don't like opening them until my characters are actually well at, like very comfortably at 60. And then if I'm going to actually, if I'm going harvesting for gear, I'll do one of the supply boxes on my 60 character and then I'll actually go gear harvesting just because it'll be like a good, hopefully it'll be actually a good drop for that character to start with. And opening up the box again. Again, legendary marks, four Marvelous Essence, five Stark Tech research credits. Futuristic Alloy, another backpack with 10,000 credits on it. Um, the backpacks pissed me off, to be honest. They, they, the crates actually were less annoying than the backpack. Relic of the Gibrahim, another 50. So that is two stacks of Relics of the Gibrahim we've gotten from these so far. Wow. We've got one more to actually make it up. So are we going to get a costume in this? Or are we going to keep the ratio at five? Every, like every five, we're going to get a, get a costume on. Okay. Four Marvelous Essence, five Stark Research Credits, a minor experience boost. Another 10 relics of the Gibrahim. Uh, unstable molecules. And another 50 relics of the Gibrahim. Wow. This is... <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to be outfitting most of my characters with relics of the Gibrahim, do you think? Or is it actually just going to be worthwhile just like... Because essentially it'll give me a random crate. I'll actually use that to get a random crate. Hopefully it'll actually give me enough materials to actually make another one. Aha. <laughs> I'm making the idea now. I see. I'm just milling these now at this point. Right, so no luck, no costume on that. So that's actually broken the trend. We had one every five crates. Now it's actually been 15 crates for two. So let's see what it works out as at the end. Four Marvelous, five Stark Tech. Small character experience token. Although completely random, we have no idea who it's going to be. Oh, sorry, for Iceman. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't. I thought Iceman's face looks like the generic face. Uh, ionic Particle, Cosmic Fragment, and a chest of 50 marvelous essence so literally at 16 another costume showed up but again costume that we've already dropped so right so we've dropped three costumes three costumes throughout this so far and they're all ones i already have so let's see That's what we got. 10 eternity splinters 25 marvelous essence four marvelous essence so yeah i do like that whenever there is multiple sexes five stark tech a lightweight armor plate and Spider-Man backpack of our 10,000 credits. Well, the only good thing is that these all stack at least and then you can just sell them all at once if you need them, but uh, you can be coming down in quiet credits at some point. Down Marvelous Essence, four Marvelous Essence, 14 on total, five Stark Tech, Energized Particles, Cosmic Fragment, and a Combination Boost. Combination Boost is nice, but not worth that. I mean, it's only worth what 40 marvelous essence altogether to actually buy one of those <sighs> it's very very miss like a lot of crits in between aren't very pleasing and then you get one with an actual costume on it so two eternity splinters 10 legendary marks four marvelous essence five stark tech all who stark flourish that's two of those matrix of unbinding we're on three now three matrix of unbinding all right Let's take another look where... Are we down to the last one? Oh my god, serious? Alright, there's one in there. I could say it's shown at the bottom. Five we've got still left. Ten Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, five Stark Tech Research Credits, another Spider-Man Backpack, and for 5,000, fuck off. Currency Boost, and an Ultimate Power Upgrade for a random. Yeah. You, oh, this actually isn't a random. You can use it on anyone. Well, there you go. That's actually not too bad. I, wait, five? Five Ultimate Power Upgrades? Okay, that's an interesting stack. That's an interesting box, actually. Hmm. I need to go and check how much is an ultimate power upgrade in the Marvel Assassin store. We will need to go and take a look at that. That might that might actually be a really good crate, just for the stack of those. Especially if you're going to be like leveling up one or two cards, like just dropping five on your ultimate's going to be fucking insane. 
My last five boxes going. Four Marvelous Essence, five Stark Deck, Erangized Particles, Cosmic Fragment, Fidget Spinners, and more Cosmic Fragments. <laughs> like I, once I've seen that, now I can't unsee it. It's a Fidget Spinner, like, being held. It's actually spinning. Yeah. Yeah. Goddamn trends, man. They just ruin, ruin shit randomly. It already exists. Alright, 300... Jesus Christ, 300 Legendary Marks. Uh, enough Legendary Marks for any uh, Legendary item. Okay. That was a, that's a big stack. Kind of impressive. Four Marvelous Essence, five Stark Deck Research Credits, Vision Spray Paint, a Spider-Man Backpack with 10,000 hours, and a Matrix of Unbinding. Matrix of Unbinding number four. Open next credit works. So we've got three left. We're down to the last three. Final countdown. Three. I was kind of like hoping that would actually be something really interesting to stop that, so I go like, woohoo, take off. But no, it didn't really do that. Two Eternity Splinters. 10 Eternity Splinters, 4 Marvelous Essence, 5 Stark Tech, Ionic Particle, and 10 Fidget Spinners. Yep, opening the next one, done the last two. 5 Legendary Marks, 25 Marvelous Essence, 10 Legendary Marks, 4 Marvelous Essence, a Stark Tech, and the Captain America Spray Paint. Really nothing in that was actually worthwhile, uh, exciting, but um, you know, not that bad of a... 29 Marvel's Essence isn't bad to get in the box, but yeah, we're down to the last one. One last crate, not a single new costume, and I admit I, admit I have most of them. It's just the fact I want the, the hooded one, I was hoping to see if it would pop up, and the um, actual movie costume itself, but we'll see. Get one of them, can we get one costume out of 25? I mean, admittedly it is, these boxes have a limited kind of like pool to pull from, but, uh, yeah, if I'd done this with the main game characters, I probably would have got at least two or three costumes. So there was there was three drops in this for costumes, but there were already ones that I had. And the Spider-Man loot box, last one, last 25. Two Eternity Splendors. Ten Legendary Marks. Four Marvelous Essence. Five Stark Tech Research Credits. Ionic Particle. And another five Ultimate Power Upgrades. Alright, so that was 10. 10 ultimate power upgrades and no description of which ones they had to go to. So, this could have still... Like, I mean, these 10 of the power upgrades, let's find out how much they are worth. That's the important question to find out now. Because if they're if they're, if they're they're worth, what, 70, 60, 50 uh, Marvelous Essence, that's a pretty... Like, so if... Well, I'm not going to speculate. We'll, we'll see how much they're worth first. That's, that's the important thing. We need to go and see. So, where is Moon Dragon in here? Uh, Moon Dragon, we have a conversation I'm going to make for your you. Mind a thing of beauty. Okay, going down, going down, going down, going down, going down, going down. A hundred marvelous essence for one of those. So that was five hundred. It's a it's the equivalent value of five hundred marvelous essence per crate. Hmm. Wow, that's pretty fucked up, actually. So 500 Marvelous Essence in a single crate twice for value of... Like, where, any, where else do you get the ultimate power upgrades? Is there anywhere else that you can get that? Like, that's a question I'm actually going to ask you guys in the audience. Is there another way to get ultimate power upgrades other than through these Marvelous Edge boxes? Actually, I think, do they not do a Marvel Ultimate Power Upgrade if you buy a character that you've already purchased? You know, like if you bought it in a pack? I think that was what. I think you got an upgrade for that character specifically. But yeah, 10 of those? God damn! Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Um, let's we'll take a look in the delivery box and see. So yeah, uh, 50 chests, 50 chests, 50 chests. So that was the three costumes that we received during it. Um, I'm going to see as the stacks here. Look at that, 70 and 50. So, literally a double stack of that. Uh, two metric, what? Um, two of them must end up in my pocket as well then. Uh, ultimate power upgrade, five listed there. So the other five must be in my pocket. Um, oh, misc, there we go. The other five are there. For 10 ultimate power upgrades in those boxes, but 25 crates, that's a very, 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 very unnecessarily expensive experiment to see but seeing the ultimate power upgrades come in stacks is kind of nice 
Um, especially if you're maining one solid character, because these aren't uh, set to any character. You can use them on anybody, so it's not an ultimate token for a person. It is an ultimate token for whoever you desire. And that's kind of cool. Right, so that's like that's actually... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not completely lost my mind with that, but uh, in a ratio of 25 crits, we had three costumes, we had 10 ultimate power upgrades, we had four Matrix of Unbinding, we had numerous Spider-Man backpacks, and only one of which was actually 100. I think all the rest were 10s and 5s. Uh, anything else of major interest that came out in that? Uh, a couple of the hollow flourishes. A flourish I didn't see before, the dimensional one, or whatever it was that came along with the vulture. Uh, we saw stack a 300 stack of legendary marks, which is very impressive. So a three, literally a legendary weapon dropped and in one of these boxes. That's pretty big. I never, I've never knew that. Didn't know they stacked them that high. <laughs> I didn't know they stacked them that high. Where are you from, private? All right, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, it wasn't too bad in total, but it, there was a lot of crits to get a lot of utility stuff. There's no, there's not massively exciting, but with three costumes out of the way, 150 extra marvelous essence, and of course the stack of marvelous essence that came from that anyway. There was a couple of 25s in there, fours, 15s, 19s, all the way through. So in total, I should have actually kept a proper count in my head of the marvelous essence, but I would say what 150 to three, uh, probably about four. I think it's four by 25. 100 so three about 400 375 marvelous essence in 25 boxes including the um, the three cosmic crates that we got from actually having custom we already had but yeah that that's that that that's actually a trade-off that's a, that's what your ratio is uh, but yeah, the the big thing obviously was the um 1000 <laughs> 1000 uh, marvelous essence value 10 ultimate power upgrades in that box that was the big thing and um, guys if you have any opinions on what these drop rates were like and the stacks that are actually in them please give me a shout tell me what you think uh, am i am i getting unnecessary like unnecessarily excited about the ultimate power upgrades because i mean it's uh, they're valuable for anybody who's long term playing the game they're not like a big flashy like wow wow, wow. but that's those are expensive in the store like they're the price of a one of the upper end costumes from the marvelous essence store so what else would you actually spend to get the ultimate power upgrades I, I don't i don't know what actually items drop that or what battles or what content drops that so make sure to tell me in the comments underneath if you feel like it um yeah guys if you actually enjoyed watching this 25 unboxing make sure to hit the subscribe button up above if you don't do the subscribe thing i can completely understand not everybody does it uh, just try to remember one thing pastiche of skin the name is right there it's right beneath all you have to do is google it and i will appear like a dirty genie just give my lamp a Guys, thank you very much for watching. Oh, wait, I, one last thing. We're on YouTube. <laughs> Boom. Right up there, there'll be the button. And then over this side will be the playlist. And on the far side will be the most recent upload. And over here at this bit will be something specifically for you based on your user statistics and all your YouTube analytics and all the things that you watch online all the time. This one will be something that you will like. So I highly recommend that you click this one. This one's for you. Yes, you. Yeah, I'm talking directly to you. Hi, yes, you, that one. Go watch it. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see all you dudes in the next unboxing. Bye.